speak to you, who's it say? Gentiles. See, he's trying to correct them. Inasmuch as I'm an apostle to the Gentiles, I magnify my ministry. If by any means I may provoke to jealousy those who are my flesh and save some of them. For if they're being cast away, <clears throat> is the reconciling of the world. What will their acceptance be but life from the dead? As the Jewish people return to their covenant God and their covenant land, we will see the greatest spiritual explosion on the face of the earth the world has ever known. And this is what's happening before our very eyes. Peggy and I are going back to Israel in April. <sighs> But my fifth trip in 12 months. Something's going on. And the Lord is moving these verses right here before our very lives. For if the first fruit is holy, <clears throat> the lump is also holy. <clears throat> and if the root is holy, so are the branches. And if some, can you say that with me? And if, didn't say all. It didn't say all, did it? It said if some. If some of the branches were broken off, <clears throat> and you being a wild olive tree, if you think about your past before you found Yeshua, you were a wild olive tree, most of you. Well, there's an honest one here. She said, Amen. We're grafted in among them. We're the grafted in group. Unless you're a Jewish believer. And with them became a partaker of the root and fatness of the olive tree. You know something really humorous. It doesn't say they are now partaking of the root and fatness of our Christmas tree. It says we're partaking of the root, Ruth like that one, of the root and fatness of the olive tree. We're grafted into them. <laughs> And we're part of the commonwealth of Israel. And our destiny is Jerusalem. When the nations have their final days of crumbling. I don't want to be here. I want to be there where the glory of God's going to be poured out. Amen. Because of that, he says, do not boast against the branches. Shame, 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 shame. <laughs> do not boast, you Gentiles, do not boast against the branches. <clears throat> and it's almost like you feel it, a heaviness in his heart. But if you do boast, like he, ah, oh, sigh. I know they're, they're going to do this, but I've got to warn them anyway. But if you do boast, remember that you do not support the root. But the root supports you what that means is judaism can get along just fine without christianity but christianity cannot get along without judaism because they are the root of our faith they've been along since abraham you know <clears throat> a long time for jesus and the new testament 
We're grafted into them. We draw our nourishment from them. You will say, then branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Well said, because of unbelief, they were broken off. But you stand by faith. Do not be haughty, but fear. Don't boast. Don't be arrogant. For if God, watch this, did not spare the natural branches, he may not spare you either. Whoa. Hmm? <clears throat> Therefore, consider the goodness and severity of God on those who fail severity but toward you goodness. If, see, if, if you continue in your goodness, otherwise, whoa, you also will be cut off. I've, Peggy's heard me teach for 30 years that the greatest schism since the Reformation in the Christian world is coming over these issues that IHCS stands at the heart of. Restoration to our roots and the ingathering of the Jewish people back to their land in preparation for the coming of Mashiach. Every professing Christian community that does not stand in agreement with that will be cut off. From whatever they were cut off from. At least the blessing and presence of God. <clears throat> and they also, if they do not if they do not continue in unbelief, will be grafted in. For God is able to graft them in again. So it says, do not boast against the branches. And unfortunately, they did not heed Paul's warnings. And so I need to talk to you about tough love here tonight. Hard stuff. Just a nugget or two of our history of boasting against the branches, the Jewish people. <clears throat> now, we can sit here this evening and say, I never did that. And that's true, probably. And that's fine. However, we are part of everything that has gone before us. We pay the consequences of the sins of those who have gone before us. And we are the bitter fruit of a Christianity that was changed. And we trace our Christian history <clears throat> really back to, as it is today, back to Constantine rather than back to Abraham. So he was the great example of faith. So receive Conviction from the Lord, but no condemnation, amen, <clears throat> if the Lord shows us something that we need to repent of this evening regarding the Jewish people. Now, in the 11, 12, 